Ladies and gentlemen, Basil and Will with Grace and Hobby, and today we're going to show you how to recover or update your RadioMaster TX16 with Edge TX. Yeah, so whether you started with an uh, Open TX, older variation of the TX16S, or you screwed up something in some firmware and you just want to start fresh, this is a simple way, a couple easy steps to get you going and back in the game with Edge TX. All right, guys, you ever went to the field and forgot your radio at home? Go Only ahead. to realize after you unload your whole car. Yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because uh, if you're on your way home back to picking your radio up, you can watch us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's one asterisk with this. Yeah, guys, by doing it this way, you will not have any models that you had prior because we are formatting the SD card. We are starting fresh. Any models you had saved prior will be gone. So in the event that you are trying to save any models, you are going to need to save them on your computer before you format your SD card, etc. cetera. Um, I would recommend a fresh start because if you've screwed up to the point where you got to watch this video, probably the models are messed up too. So this is the quick and easy way and that's why I'm showing you this way. All right, the first step we're going to do here is we're going to go to radiomasterrc.com. We're going to go to the support page, click it. You're going to scroll down to downloads and we're going to download the firmware. And then from here, this is the TX16S. So we're going to look at TX16S. This is 271, this is the newest. If you don't want the, quite the newest, say you're like, hey, I don't want the newest bugs and all that, whatever, which may or may not be there, but yeah, you're talking two days difference. Um, basically 271, this one might be 270, but we're gonna click here. And then it's gonna ask, it's gonna open up a Google Cloud thing. Uh, we're gonna download this, all that. This is just what's in the file. Uh, my computer is telling me it can't scan for viruses. I'm gonna click download anyway. And then we're gonna give that a second. And it's a pretty small file. It's only 84 megabytes or 85 megabytes. So it's gonna go pretty quick, even if you have a slow internet at home or anything like that. Open up. So we're gonna open here. Now this is the next thing a lot of people miss up, uh, is you have to extract the files because it's a zip file. So we're gonna extract all, browse, we'll put it on the desktop, and then we're gonna create a new folder. And we're gonna put it, uh, T16 up edge. There. Oh, there you go. Firmware. Go there, open there, and then extract. And this is going to take longer than the downloading because this is, I mean, this is an older computer. Where All right, so the file is downloaded here. It's going to open up a new window here. So the next thing I do is there's two ways you can do it. You can either take the SD card out of the radio or just flash it through the radio itself. We're going to flash it through the radio itself for the simple fact is, um, you know, some people actually get the SD card lost in the thing. So we're just going to turn on the radio. We're going to connect connect the radio here through the top USB-C port, not the bottom. Going to select storage, hit OK. And then it so what we're going to do here is we're going to verify the folder that had all the stuff in it. Um, the easiest thing to do is clear it out is just to format it. And you're going to make sure it's fat. And then quick format. This will do the job. Remember, not the TX16 one. Yeah. You want the USB drive. So this is the onboard SD card, which if you're concerned about this and you're not really sure, it'd probably be best to take the SD card out of the radio and do it remotely. That way you know what drive it is. Um, but in this case, I know it's E because I got my hard drive, my CD-ROM drive, the radio, which is the radio master, it'll say TX16S, and then the USB, or the SD card. So we're going to paste all the files that we downloaded earlier that I copied. So now it's going from the Edge firmware folder that I made to the SD card on board. And this is gonna be a little slower doing it through the radio, I've noticed, than doing it externally. So take that for what it's worth there. Uh, this is gonna take about five minutes here, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let this go, and then we'll come back right before it finishes. All right, so now the files have transferred onto the radio itself that's gonna be on the SD card here. So we're actually, at this point, we are done with the computer. We can do the rest on the radio. All right, guys, so once we unplug it, you will get a warning, bad radio data. Don't touch anything yet. We're going to go over to the bench and I'm going to show you guys the next steps from here. But we're done with the computer at that part. All we had to do is get the files. If you find value in this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And for all your Radio Master needs, every little purchase helps. The link below, graysonhobby.com. Either shop online or, as always, come on in and shop in our store. Yep. I don't have anything to say on that one. So. <laughs> all right, what could be my... <coughs> My, if you fuck. All right, so now we got the radio off the computer. We got the storage warning here. Just gonna hit return, get out of that. Now we're gonna hold the system button down and we're gonna push the page over to the, the SD card information. 
We're going to go to firmware. We're going to click the roller wheel. So we're going to go to English for this one. And we're going to select here and we're going to flash the bootloader. So we clicked it, highlight the flash bootloader, clicked it. All right, so now we got that. We're going to turn off the radio. We're going to push T1 and T4 inwards, turn on the radio. Now we're going to write, we got Edge TX bootloader here because that was originally Open TX bootloader. So we're going to click write firmware. Now we're going to go back to the English one, click and hold. And it's going to be selected. Now we're going to hold flash and this is basically rewriting edge tx on it, it um, and deleting the open tx or anything you had prior so whether you corrupt it or whatever you just want a fresh start this is the way to do it all right and then we're just going to hit return to exit exit again the radio is going to reboot and, and now we're on edge tx they got a throttle warning because it's not there and this is going to be a bunch of switches etc and then from here, we got to calibrate. So we're going to do one more thing. And I'm going to show you guys the calibration. Because once you flash at the firmware, the calibration is going to be off. So we're going to go to calibration. Move the stick to center. Move the sliders to center. There. And I like to leave that one at 1 for edge TX. And then we're going to do that. So press enter. Now we're going to center the sticks. Everything's good. Press it one more time. Now we're going to move the sticks. And when you move the sticks, just lightly up and down to the endpoints. Don't mash it because you can actually flex the stick a little bit. And you'll never get that 100% uh, down if you do that. So just lightly up and down, left and right on both sticks. And then the sliders up and down. The two wheels to the left and to the right. Then push one, two, three, four, five, six. And you'll see it doesn't always go all the way, but now if I push it, it goes back to one. Now that we've moved all the sticks, we've moved the sliders, and we move the buttons, we're going to press enter one more time. Calibration is complete. So now you'll see we got negative 100% all that. So is that it? There's one last thing that's optional, but if you're updating the firmware from an older model and it's been a while, or from older firmware, you're going to want to update the multi-model too, because Edge TX, the, the order of the different models are, or um, protocols is different. So okay. we're going to go into the system button. Um, we're going to go over the firmware again, press the firmware, and this particular radio has the 4-in-1 module, so we're going to do the serial, not the CC2500. If you have the older um, SE that doesn't have the 4-in-1 module, you do that one. So they put that on there, but you don't really, most people don't have that. So we're going to do multi-module AETR. If you're doing spectrum channel mapping, you'll have to download it separately online, but this is the correct firmware for that, and we're going to click Flash Internal Multi. And it's going to go, take a minute, and start writing. And this is updating the multi-module to match the arrangement of the radio as far as what um, protocol is what. So while that's doing that, can you explain what the three are? You have the firmware, edge, and then the multi-module, right? Yeah, that's the three things. I mean, downloading the firmware from Radio Master's website and getting it onto the SD card, whether it's through the radio or externally, and um, that would also be a time to get a new SD card. If you want to kind of keep what you have, et cetera, you're not really sure, um, you can do that as well. But if you've completely screwed everything up, you might as well just format and start fresh. Um, then you're going to put the firmware from the SD card. You're going to go to the fol folders on the radio and actually upload it to the radio. And then from there, the last thing to do is update the multi-module to match the radio itself. Okay. I heard a beep. Yeah. It's flash successful and you're done. And that's it. So we have successfully updated the Edge TX onto mm -hmm. the TX16 and... And you'll see... Updated the multi-module, right? Turning it on. I got a huge glare right there, sorry. Edge TX. Welcome to Edge TX. And then the cool thing about with Radio Master, what they've done is some pretty cool... They did a couple well, of presets Well, there's presets. Cool. They got some templates for some Eachine models, stuff like that. So that's actually kind of nice that they did that. So there's a five, six, seven... Well, they got 12 different models loaded on this thing, so that's wow. pretty cool. Okay. And that will be changing as, I mean, depending on when you download the file from their website, there could be more, there could be less. Um, that's one thing I have is variations in what they put on the templates in the last six months. So, okay. That's it. And there you go. So that's one way to get the radio updated. Um, again, if you had OpenTX in it and you want to go to Edge TX and you want just a clean start, if you're trying to import your models, there are other ways to do that. I would suggest uh, maybe we'll do that in another video or something like that. 
but it is a little more in-depth for most people, um, and there's a higher chance of it uh, getting corrupted. So I like doing this method just to start fresh. Um, if you have a ton of models, yes, I would save the SD card somewhere uh, of your old models, import it, open TX, etc., and then transfer it. Um, this is just if you didn't have any other, other models on it, you're new to the radio, and you just want a fresh start or edge TX from OpenTX. That was what this video is for, guys.